Setting up a home search from your new Real Savvy IDX is really easy. Let's quickly walk through the steps on how to log in and start setting up a search for your clients. So simply click on the login tab in the corner right, top right hand corner of your screen and log in with your agent credentials. Hit sign in. And now you're logged in to your actual client portal and importantly you can now set up searches for your clients. So anytime you want to set up a search for your clients, always start from search. So I'm going to quickly click on search and now you can start entering the search parameters for your clients. So let's say we have a client that's looking in 78639. Type in that zip code. And now keep in mind when you're setting location parameters, you can type in zip code, you can type in um, city or neighborhood, or you could type in um, a condo building if applicable, but you can really drill into multiple types of search. You can even add a um, custom drawn area on a map. So let's say I want to, in addition to the zip code I've selected, I also want to draw a custom area on the map. We'll say this area right here by the lake. Um, once you've drawn your, your shape, hit done. You can always edit it and add additional custom drawn areas on the map. Um, now let's drop into price range. Uh, we'll say we'll set a minimum of 700,000. Keep in mind that when you're typing in price range to always add the six zeros. And we'll say we want um, two beds and two baths. Um, again, you're setting a minimum here. Now you can always dive into more foops. You can always dive into more filters if you'd like to add, um, you know, property type or waterfront property, uh, you pool, number of stories, etc. Um, exit out of your filters and now you save your search. So hit this green button that says save search and um, always recommend naming your home board after your client's name with a little more information about it. So say for example, my client's name is, um, I will say Johnson's uh, Lake Home Search. And now save the board. And now you're on the actual home board itself. Um, here's where you can you know, start commenting and adding, uh, saving particular properties for your client. But I always like to think of your, your home board as a three-step setup. You have filters, alerts, and people. Anytime any of these icons are red, it's because you haven't set them up yet. So use these as your indicator, as your guide for how to set up a home search. So obviously we've set up our filters. Um, we have our zip code, our drawn map area, our price range, two bed, two bath. And now let's click on alerts. So quick preview about what alerts do. So at the top left hand corner, you see you have instant property updates or daily summary updates of new homes that come up on the market that match your client's search criteria. So very much like your MLS portal instant property updates, these property updates are actually branded to your brokerage. So if you want your clients to receive an email alert as soon as a new home comes up on the market, then simply select instant updates. Or um, you can always select for them to get a, a daily summary of all the homes that came up on the market that day. So most active buyers are going to prefer instant updates, so we'll select that. And now when you scroll down here to the bottom, you'll see SMS alerts and email alerts. SMS alerts, are basically we will send you a text message to your phone anytime your client either pins a property or comments on a property or adds someone to this home board. Um, same with the email alerts. Now, if you have a client who's maybe in a longer sales cycle and they're, you know, pinning a bunch of homes for inspiration or you just really want to silence those notifications, you always have that control. So you can turn off notifications for pins or comments or leave them all on. We, of course, leave them default on because we think it's really important for you as the agent to always be responsive to whatever your clients are doing um, with regards to the home search. So if you're client is commenting on a property, you're going to know right away what exactly it is they said. So the ball is in your court to be as responsive as possible. So after you've set your alert settings, hit save. And um, you'll see it landed us on pins. Just click back into results to see all the 
properties that match your search. Um, but now you'll see that alerts icon is now gray. That's because we've completed that process. Last but not least, let's invite someone to this board. So let's invite your client. Simply click on people and select invite. And now you have two options when you're inviting clients. Uh, if you already have a client in your client portal, um, for example, if you see here on the left hand side, this is a list of all the clients that are in this agent's client portal. You can simply select one of them and drop them in to the people who will be invited to this board. And, and keep in mind, you can invite multiple people, which is a really great feature about the collaborative component about this home search, is that you really get the opportunity to invite everyone that's involved in the home search, whether it be roommate and um, you know the buyer or spouse, spouse, lender, mother-in-law, you name it, you can bring everybody that's pertinent to that search onto the same platform, and that platform, of course, being your website. So, um, you know, again, you can invite multiple people. You can add a custom message, like, hey, here is a home search I created for you. Join me. Um, you know, custom message. Now, if you don't have anyone added into your client portal just yet, you can simply add a new person directly from this window. So select add new person. You'll see it's the top option of inviting people to this board. Select add new person. And now you can type in their name, first name, last name, email address, cell phone, and select add client. So now you've added a new person to the home board. You have a custom message and you can simply select send. Invitation sent successfully. So now you'll see that you have um, all the icons on this board are gray because they've been completed. So um, now you have all steps complete. You're always welcome to comment and leave a comment for your clients. This, this chat window right here, I'd like to compare it to Facebook Messenger. It basically allows you to add real-time commentary to this board, which will then trigger a text message or email notification on your client's end. So if I want to say something like, hey, let's go, let's go look at homes on Saturday, my client is going to get that text message. Um, then I can also, if, if you'd like, you can save a few properties to this board that you think your client might be interested in. So um, say, for example, I think my client will like this home, so I'm going to pin it, and I'm going to pin you know, a few more. So now you have saved a few properties for your clients. So when you click over to pinned, you can see the three properties you saved. You also have a grid view of your home search. So if you click on grid over here above the chat box, um, this gives you a better visual graph of what your clients are pinning. Um, you can, of course, scroll through the images directly from the pin, or you can open it and get a little more information about the property details. You can also share listings to social media. So um, makes it really easy to share to Facebook or Twitter or Pinterest or email. Um, and then if you want to, of course, edit pins, you can always just select edit, unpin a home if you think perhaps maybe they won't like it, and then hit save. So that is how you set up a home search for your clients. As a reminder, you have grid view and you have map view when you're on an actual home board. And that is a simple step to setting up a home search. If you have any questions, you're always welcome to email support at realsavvy.com. And we look forward to having you enjoying your new home search platform.